How y'all doing? My name is Ron Obasi. Yes, sir. We're here with the 80 vibe today. 80 vibe. Shout out to the good people, the band. Brought Ryan with me. We're going to vibe out today. This first song is called Good Raps. When I say it, they can put a face to it. It's a pivotal pace to it. Spirit and grace to it. They're never waiting on you, cause it's minimal weight to it. Watching these mortals combat, oversizing me that they'll never see. While I'm in the chaos rim, you in the shallow trying to swim, you can never be my equal. You can never be, you can never be. You talking like you Robin Hood. But really, you just Robin Hoods. Never showing your face, nigga. You really Robin Hoods. I've been working on this castle since the sandbox. You niggas scared to jump my fence, sir. Said lie. Pick a knife, pick a light. I was under those. Run with Julia and Tim, baggy clothes. Front line from my tribe like Sonny Ali. I'm a king, boy, I monitor peace. Any tall tales about you fucking with peeps. I met your head at the door like you showing ID. You know that there's a difference between us, I never had to say it. Tight wrote the evolution, but I'm still changing. Don't sweat the tech, know you gotta embrace it. Honorable payments, all my dudes came with graces. Took some losses, but I didn't flinch. Life a pimp, but no iceberg in me, Mr. Slim. Rolling my shoulders like I'm cocky in the gym. You can talk like you Vince when your head above the rim. Come on. Yeah, you can talk like you Vince when your head above the rim. Come on. Come on. You can talk like you Vince when your head above the rim. Come on, nigga. Come on, nigga, nigga. Come on, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. A ghetto nigga with an intricate mind, a different revive. Known to bring the sickest of rhymes. I figured if I'm poised to bring the city your mind, a new feel. Gotta make it vivid with time and paint a picture. Moments that acquitted the blind, biblical wise. Tell me how you live with the guy. The gimmick I'm not. Exhibit of a lyricist prime. I get them lost in the flow, like the bridges on fire. To send them a boat, save them with this gift here of mine. Let them know. Bossy on the list of divine shit, water, giving more to Fiji. I'm kinda like Ja. Got a nurse spirits with wine, come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on. Only good raps, how you love that? Come on. Good raps, good raps, how you love that? Come on. Good raps, good raps, how you love that? Once again, I'm Ron Obasi. We here kicking shit with the 80 vibe. That first song was Good Raps, too. Yeah. Good Raps.
Welcome back to the 80 Vibe. And in honor of today's guest, Ron Obasi, who's a Tennessee native, we're gonna make a Cashville margarita. So you wanna start with some ice in your shaker. You only need a couple of key ingredients to make a really good margarita, so we're gonna use some agave. Just a squirt of that, it's really sweet. Some Cointreau. And equal parts lime juice. And of course, you cannot make a margarita without your tequila. Give it a really good shake. And we'll garnish it with the lime. Go ahead and enjoy your Cashville margarita. Stay tuned for more Rano Bossi. The crew said we back for season two, what it do? Said we back for season two, what it do? Said we back for season two, what it do? Shout out to you and you and you too. Okay, my name is Chico Bean and I'm a bad man. Never get my swag out of the trash can. I'm too clean, I'm way too clean. And if you didn't hear the first time, my name's Chico Bean. I'ma flow off the dome. Yeah, I'm hanging, I'm banging. New rap flap hanging. You know what's going on up under this bitch. Got the braids on the side, but the front is not thick. It's okay though. Yes, never play, no play though. My nigga Cat got his mask. But there ain't no other nigga in here with the mask. So I guess whatever it is won't get passed by him. So J-O win on the bass. Uh, cover your face with the drums. I'm number one and never number two. What it do? 80 vibe season two. Ooh, yes. We in this bitch again. Tell them hoes come through and bring a friend. I never stop. I never drop. I got diamonds on my watch and I don't even know how to tell time. Yeah, I'm still cool. Uh. I'm a whole fucking fool. 80 Vibe Season 2. We about to bring the new grooves to you. So what it do, band? Yeah, one more time. I said the band. Yeah, we do it bigger with the band. Yeah, one more time. We do it bigger with the band. 80 Vibe Season 2. Yeah. Okay, uh, it never stops. I'm trying to turn on my axis. Also trying to figure how I can pay $750 in taxes. Like the president, cause I pay more, but I don't got more bread according to what I seen on the headline. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my grind time down. One, two, three, what's up with you? See my OG, we just had the Jewish man come in with all the money. Yes, indeed, he's talking, but he's not funny. And yes, what's up with you? I'm talking about you, standing there with the sweatshirt on you. Hey, make a nigga wanna holler. White man, can I borrow $5,000 today? I give it back to you when I get it. I'm <laughs> Like, I'm just kidding, I'm gonna keep it Cause I'm a hood nigga, it ain't no secret Yeah, trying to get it for real We got the beautiful girl, she over there making drinks So if you wanna get drunk, then you know what I do think You need to go and holler One, two, three, yes indeed I'm never doing this for free This 85 South Show And you already know how it go 85, 85 is the 85 one more dun, time dun, for your dun, mind, dun, it's the 85. Dun, I say what? The 85, it's the 85. A oh, one more time for your mind, it's the 85. It's, it's not 85. season one, it's season two. Season two. So, ooh, we, who is you? I'm Ryan. Goddamn. I'm Ryan. God damn, God damn, I done got the pretty girl with the beautiful voice. Yeah, all these niggas in here, yeah, he making them moist. Ooh. If you ain't got a penis, then you probably but hear I like this. Girls, though. You I do? like girls though. Oh shit, she like pussy too. Uh -huh. yeah. That's what the real niggas do. Yeah. We in this bitch, we in this bitch. I say it's 85 season two, we in this bitch. I say, I'ma let her do her thing. I hope 
that you can tell I hope that you can tell her voice so good I might make it my voicemail for when the hoes call and say what is you doing well you heard the voice baby I am pursuing the dream we get it clean one two three one two three mic check I'm the best I'm the best say it with your chest little nigga let's go 85 85 85 yes this the 85 85 85 85 85 this is 85 yes indeed my name is Chico Bean and we present to you something so great so cool and so collected this is the 85 season number two we already bought season one you fell in love with it so we had to bring you season two we got some great great content we great bring you guys so we hope that uh everybody is ready for what we got coming Vibe season two coming to you live and direct in effect. How are you, ladies and gentlemen? Are you tired of not being fly as you can be? Are you tired of not looking the best that you can look? Are you tired of walking around and people not asking you where you got that? Well, you need to change where you got that and come get some of what we got, and that's the 85 South Show of Pearl at 85apearlcompany.com. That's where you go to get all this fly shit we got on right here. Look, pull the pants out, man. You pull the pants out. Look, 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 look. Don't he look like he great go on the first day of school? Ain't even no school. Lady, <coughs> print friendly. Yeah, whatever he just said. I ain't with all that shit, but I am with the selling of the merchandise. So make sure you go to 85apearlcompany.com to get you some of this fresh gear. Like my man E-Man here. We ain't got the hair wraps yet, but we gonna get them. This next selection, we call this song Real Nigga Theory. For everybody in this motherfucker could definitely tune in and listen. Once again, shout out to 85 for having us here. I got a real nigga theory. I got a real nigga theory. They love me, dude. <clears throat> Maybe Jesus wasn't perfect. When a great man dies, he elevated by his stories. Ain't challenging God's word, I'm just speaking metaphor. You do right by your people, they carry your name for you. Like when he cured the blind, he helped them see that they was worth it. Sickness and disease, curing and discouraged. Brought niggas to his table, kept them fed, gave them clothing. Knowing they would betray him, still standing in his purpose. Uh. I got a real nigga theory. I got a real nigga theory. Do they love me? Do they hate me? Do they fear me? I got a real nigga theory. I got a real nigga theory. Do they love me? Do they hate me? Do they fear me, y'all? Oh, man. Do they love me? Do they? Uh. It hurts you when the real nigga get murdered, don't it? Yeah. Look at Jesus, look at Nipsey. Still witness the crucifixion every time the heaven send a sign. What we do, kill him. The ones flipping tables at the temples, standing on the mountain trying to feed the whole village. Knowing how it ends, but never wavered on their mission. Don't mind me, it's just a theory. Yeah. I got a real nigga theory. I got a real nigga theory. Do they love me? Do they hate me? Do they fear me? Oh, man. I got a real nigga theory, do they love me, do they hate me, do they What does a man have if he don't use his ego, seeing all commotion, never mad at the people All they wanna teach him, don't abuse, but reach him, knowing that we all can be deceitful The type of nigga see your pain, don't let it as evil, cause he know that we all going through the same pain All going through the same thing That's a 
real nigga theory Do they love me, do they hate me, do they fear me, y'all Got a real nigga theory, do they love me, do they hate me, do they fear me, y'all, man That's a real nigga theory That's a real nigga theory, do they love me, do they hate me, do they fear me uh, I done seen God and some real niggas I done seen God and some real niggas I done seen God, I done seen God, I done seen God and some real niggas I done seen God and some real niggas. I done seen God. I done seen God. I done seen God and some real niggas. I done seen God and some real niggas. Oh oh. I done seen God and some real niggas. I done seen God and some real niggas. I done seen God and some real niggas. Yeah. I got a real nigga theory. Do they love me? Do they hate me? Do they fear me? Oh man. I got a real nigga theory. Do they love me? Do they hate me? Do they fear me? Hey, welcome back. 85. 85. Ronald Bossy, up Ronald Bossy, Bossy right? in the building. What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm good, man. Oh, we got a round of applause. We got a round of applause. Thought they were sleeping up. Yeah. See, you got the vibe set. Everybody was just so chill. They yeah. the clap, man. What's going on? I'm good, man. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for having me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Again, oh, man. I yeah. ain't get to meet Chico last time. Oh, yeah, awesome. most definitely, man. It feel good to meet you, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I be forgetting. I thought you did. Because in my mind, he's always here. Yeah, I told my ass. Even you, in spirit. Yeah, always. In spirit was hovering over by the Marvin Gaye picture. Like, proud of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, man, we've been watching you vibe out, man. And uh, first thing I want to ask is uh, you got a song called Long Way Home that I, that I really just resonated with me, man. So talk a little bit about what motivated you to make that music. Uh, yeah, man, Long Way From Home uh, feature Ryan, by the way. Uh, the song really came from like a space of just, you know what I'm saying, being a nigga like, Damn. who just- <laughs> That's a hell of a space hold on, to, hold on, to, listen, to bro, like, creating music in. It came from, <laughs> <laughs> it, it really did though. It came from like, you know what I'm saying, uh, like an introspective space of like noticing that like, you know what I'm saying, out of a lot of the niggas I know, like I'm one of the niggas who actually like, Doing something different, you know what I'm saying? Not to, not to sound like a cliche story, but you know what I'm saying? We know a bunch of niggas who could be doing this, but they not. And then just recognizing like how, like how much of a leap a nigga really took to do this. That's really what inspired the song. And then I gave that shit to Ryan, and she, she smashed the back yeah. of that motherfucker. And then Speaking came of Ryan, right man, you got to tell us about the crew, man. You brought a very interesting crew with you. Mm -hmm. And you said them, them your people. How did My they tribe, influence yeah. your musical decisions and where y'all collab at? And I'm really asking, what's the myth? Like, where does the crew come in and how do they, you know, what part do they play in your creative process and stuff like that? Uh, shout out to Tribe, first off. Uh, they play because they play a big ass part in everything I got going on. That's the, the beautiful part about it. Yeah. Uh, the lucky part about it, a nigga in the space around a bunch of people who right. they gonna get shit done. Like, and ain't nobody that's in Tribe that I don't look around and they not they not working on something. Let me tell Chico, I'm not sure if you know the Tribe. Uh -huh. He traveled with them. Okay. He had a group of motherfuckers, but the cool part about it is everybody in there was like inclined, with nobody just hanging out. So that's why I asked about yeah, like, yeah. his people. He about 20 deep, but everybody good. Everybody they, they good. They pulling out yeah, harmonicas yeah. and whistles and shit. I was like, what are they doing? They, they you got the they like, all doing something. Delic, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They yeah, all man. doing something like they all like they all cold, like some hard working, cold niggas. Like so. Yeah. So they go shit. But everywhere they go, I go with them too. So like that's they, what's up. Yeah. They get a little bit in your background. You from Nashville, Tennessee, right? Yep. Well, talk tell people a little bit about how you came up and you know what I mean and, and, and what motivated you to, to take that leap that you said, like you said, you know a lot of niggas that's doing yeah. the shit that everybody's doing. Coming from where you come from, what motivated you to take that leap to go in a different direction? Uh Shit, I mean, uh, shit, single mom, bro. three kids, I had an older brother, a sister, bro, around the same age. Uh, shit, I mean, grew up in the inner city shit, 
But my mom made sure she kept us niggas in the sports and shit. So I played yeah. football, basketball. You look like a running back. Yeah, a corner I play back corner. Type nigga. I play corner. Right. Yeah, yeah. But I'm so. high because I was trying to figure out did I blow smoke in you? But you had your own uh, smoke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how I knew. I was like, I, I'm disrespectful. I'm blowing smoke from the gas. Who the fuck up now? That's his own smoke. That's my smoke. He was holding it under the table. I'm like, bro, should I move it? Yeah, they got <laughs> mystic smoke. But that's what I was about to ask you though. My bad, my bad. You came and kicked it with us in the trap house on I the did. couch, man. Now you coming back to fuck with us on 85, man. Tell us about Shout out to 85 fans. Man, bro. we got some dope ass fans. They the ones who made this shit possible. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they kept pushing us to create and, you know, branch out and do more things and open up the platform. It was yeah. like find niggas like you that come through and show love on both sides, man. What did you think of your first experience in the trap house with 85 South Shore? I loved it, bro. I loved it. Uh it was definitely, you know what I'm saying? If one, it was really surreal, you know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, it was it was something that like I knew niggas back home, they ain't never done before. You know what right. I'm saying? So it was like sitting on the couch with DC, Carlos. But that it was welcoming too. Like I said, bro, it was like it was cool to just soak that in and watch niggas just get that, that conversation off, bro. It wasn't just like Soaking in the vibe, it was more than just jokes. Yeah. So that shit was, it was, it was cool. It Look, was I hate to shit. keep goddamn like taking nah, up all your time, but you got to come back again now since I, I know that your chico wasn't there. Then you got to bring the oh, whole shit. tribe. So yeah. We bring you, bring and then we bring the whole tribe, oh, and then definitely. we'll bring Chico, and it'd be the whole show. Then it'd be like thirty niggas on the show at oh, one time. <laughs> That'd be hard. Rock out. We yeah. probably had to do it. Can we have a jam session? Do it outside. Hey, that's exactly what I was thinking. Tell yeah. everybody bring their shit. Like everybody bring like the flu. Like or a pot luck or just turn yeah. it up, nigga. Yeah. And everybody and bring it just turn it up. Like the he junkyard man exactly. who fed out. You hear me? Man, that would be hard. A pot luck, pot luck yeah, or jam yeah. session, nigga. Everybody bring your own instrument. That's what it is. Oh, you know this show right here is fan driven, so we do have some fan comments, <laughs> believe it or not. Like we had the fans. Send the send the questions and shit before we even do the show. So when oh, they bro. when they uh, saw you on the couch, they had a few questions they wanted us to make sure we double back and uh, ask you. It. And your know, your first experience on the eighty five South show was one of them. And then somebody wants to know what was it like coming to Atlanta to record your album. Ain't that cra it's yeah, crazy? Yeah, bro. Yeah, like surreal. Uh, <laughs> one, Nick, I don't know uh, if I'm allowed to say what studio we recorded. No, I don't at. say that because then there's gonna be people showing up trying to hang out. Just in the studio, don't they tell them. Unless you fuck everybody the should try to go visit Patchwork because that's where we recorded that. Because that shit break. was surreal. Because I saw all them damn plaques on the wall, and it was like motivated. You know what I'm saying? It definitely felt like we was in a space like you can't fail. Yeah, okay. that shit was it that was, magic. Was, yeah, bro. And then the, the, vibe, the band, stand, feel it in yeah. there. The band, shout out to them boys because. You know what I'm saying? For real, bro. You just couldn't fail. Nigga was just put in a uh, position to really succeed in that studio. And yeah. we, we made that album, bro. That shit came out crazy. This is another complicated ass fan question. <laughs> <laughs> that shit came out crazy. I hope I answered it. Yeah, you did. You did. You're doing a phenomenal job, by the way, in, the, in all aspects. You're doing great. Um, somebody yeah. wants to know what how did you choose your lineup to perform on this on this stage right here? The songs? Yeah. Nah, the fucking back shit. What are you talking about? Yeah, you talking about how do I choose the lineup? Do you mean the music? Yeah. The music? Which one's out? That's that mystic smoke. <laughs> put that joint down. I already put it down. I already put it down. I beat hey, you man, to how it. How did you choose the song? Oh, you talking about the music? I beat you to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit got slow. Take a drink. That's what I be trying to do. Yeah, you good. All right, so you saying how did I choose the lineup? I can choose your lineup. But line. you talking about the song, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You like this nigga, bitch again. I need again. to make show. Not your lineup on your oh, shape up, nigga. The lineup that you perform. <laughs> Bless. That's why we fuck with this. Bless nigga. All right, now listen. All right. Uh, like listening to the live album back. We've been listening to that shit since we got the the shit, bro. It's, it's like I said, it's great music. And, yeah. Uh, I just picked the songs I shit how I want, like the vibe of the show to go. If I was, you know what I'm saying? I miss performing and shit, so like, we just set the vibe, you know what I'm saying? We picked uh, Good Raps 2 first. Yeah. It's mellow, nigga getting his bars off. Uh, Hood Alchemy, it's bouncy, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's some introspective shit. Uh, long way from home, you know what I'm saying? That's just, it's, some, it's intimate, it connect, and then shit, real nigga there. Let me ask you this, because I, I fuck with the title, you know, Hood Alchemy. Mm -hmm. What yeah. is that like? Outside yeah, of the it. song, what does yeah. that mean to you? Like, what's your definition of hood alchemy? And like, in the simplest like way I can think of it, it's just like 
shit everybody know the type of places we come from. But right. it's like it's alchemy, bro, when you see that as a when your perspective is that's an advantage in your life. You know what you I mean? You can take that perspective and do yeah, something. You do with a whole lot of shit with it. You got stories to tell, you got jokes to tell. You know what I'm saying? You can really like where we come from is like it's not bad in a sense if you if you, you take it to the chin, bro. And just, right. Because the and whole master yourself, the you undertone of the, of the alchemist was, you know, they yeah. used to convince people, people that they right. could turn yeah. shit into gold. So when you yeah. said that, I wanted to you know. Now, so, I heard you, you know, have a real true. unique, introspective thought process when it comes to the world we live in. And, you know yeah. what I mean? Even though you're a young guy, you, you know, you have a lot of thoughts that you feel like, you know, can motivate people like you. So give me an example <clears> of something that might be unconventional in the way that you conduct yourself to motivate some people out there that might be needing that type of motivation. Asking a hard ass question. No, nah, I mean, a real I, question. Like, like something I would like, somebody would like reference somebody to do. Yeah, to like something. It just something. you know, I, I was told that you have a real yeah. unique perspective on the world. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and that's something that drives us because we don't think about things the way that most people do. That's what puts us in the position that we're in. Yeah. So you being in this position, what advice could you give from your perspective to people like you that might be looking to get into what you're doing? Uh, word, word. Uh, not even to sound cliche as hell, but my first thing I would tell niggas to do, bro, is read, bro. Grab your goddamn book, bro, because there's answers in that shit. Like, and I mean, like some of my favorite books is like The Alchemist that inspired that song. Uh, reading some shit like Way of the Superior Man, shit like that, bro. Yeah, like, yeah that's a good one right I there. really just, you know, like they, it be sounding crazy as hell, like when you watch like Malcolm X movies, bro, and like, you know what I'm saying, the scenes and shit, the niggas pick up books, he start reading and shit, like his life changed, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's the shit in them books, bro, and I I picked them up, low point, you know what I'm saying? And we're just trying to find some answers, bro. And the books, bro, I really find myself. But it's at the same time, like, uh, like the learning curve of like taking in that type of knowledge and then like applying it. Not again, like not to not go too deep, but just the shit that you learn with your experience and like the knowledge you, you know what I'm saying that you're trying to go find. Mm. Uh, I would definitely tell a nigga, bro, to like, bro, like anything that you want to do, anything that you feel like is a gift. Like if you feel like you know what I'm saying, you at like a confusing point, or you're trying to find purpose or some shit, whatever you good at, like that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. You do it to the best. And, you know what I'm saying, keep that's a service. Going. You keep going, bro. Keep going. That's a service to yourself. That's a service to other people, bro, because, yeah, it works. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what it is. Knowledge is, is power. Definitely it is. Yeah. It definitely is. Now, you know, you got the live album. You recorded the live album here in Atlanta. So what's the Crazy, next bro. thing that you got that you Crazy. working on? Yeah, man, uh, Droptober, man, it's like, like I said, it was the, it's the second annual, basically Droptober. A nigga birthday is in Droptober, right? So I just, the way I celebrate it is just dropping a whole bunch of shit. Uh, but crazy content, though, it's like, uh, I know, like, it's kind of like, uh, some people say, like, you know, saturation, people get tired of saturation. But I believe people don't get tired of saturation if it's quality. Right. Every single time. Or it's some shit you ain't never seen, so. And shout out to the team, too, because they make that shit possible, you know what I mean? They ain't just like no one-man band thing going crazy. Nah, because it's like 11 mans yeah. in that band. <laughs> About 15 of those, bro. Yeah, like, that's but nah, but again, they it's beat. like, it's a machine, bro. Like, it's a machine. It's some niggas, bro, who believe and, and made a machine. But they helped me do, you know what I'm saying, shit like Droptober, bro, where I can just, I can make the best content that I can make and then drop it in that way. Videos, pictures, songs. What can they find you and keep up with you at? Uh, Ron Obasi, man, on, um, on all platforms, man. R O N O B A S I. No spaces on Twitter or Instagram, bro. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Well, Ron, yeah. we appreciate you for coming and rocking out on the 85, man. Appreciate man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You're going to close us out with another one of them good ones, man. We appreciate you. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for Ron Obasi, man. They coming. Parliament Funkadelic of young niggas. <laughs> 85. That's right. My man, them. I knew he was happy. This selection is called Long Way From Home. 
featuring the great and talented Ryan. Rondo Boss. Yeah. I double back for the loop. I want to get rich. I want it all up. I want it all fixed. I want enough in the bank to be there for my niggas. I want to blow up. I want to seclude. I know what I need. I'm inclined to improve. A black man in this world, so what am I supposed to do? I'm not oblivious. I know I got enemies. Can only spot few. The powers that be, the power in me. I'm like Lil Ward. Don't like if I succeed. But I stand on my ten, I fall to my knees and lobby my faith. Got off of my fate, harped on my knees. Embark on a journey, they talking about visions, don't gotta agree. I'm obviously grown, I'm obviously free. <laughs> I'm calm when I'm lost. Finding the means to find out what it means. Find it out that I can find it in me, cause it's a long way from home. Long way from home, nigga. Strapped in, life going fast and we dash in Trying to get paid on the back end Watch both sides when you back in Cause these niggas is nervous, these niggas is swerving These niggas is purging, <laughs> a free nigga searching Bread over war, a few niggas worth it I know a nigga flaw, but my vision is perfect Lies on the line and you can assist the urgency I don't assist the serpents I know a list determined I know a risk is worth it I know a bitch can hurt me I'm big on face, my wrist is hurting I shoot till I win my inner Jordan A different version, a different person This shit a circus Give me trial, a gift a sermon Long way from home God please bless the husbands and then the newbies Keep me will sweet so I don't mind, mind it when they spill tea yeah. yeah, but if you got some fly power, nigga, nigga let's, let's burn it These peons tried to bury me and cover my purpose But I, I ain't, ain't even mad, filled up with discernment Headed, Headed to, to the, the top, top and I know why I deserve it I know, I know, I know I know I deserve it Time for a nigga on his journey. Two times for a nigga on his journey. One time for a nigga on his journey. Two times for a nigga on his journey. One time for a nigga on his journey. Two times for a nigga on his journey. Fuck with every nigga on the journey. You a long way from home. A long way from home. Long way from home. Once again, that selection was long way from home. Featuring right here. Dig that one. That one was great. How y'all doing again? Once again, I am Ron Obasi. Here kicking shit with the 80 vibe. 80 fucking vibe. Second selection. The song is called Hood Alchemy. Hope y'all still feeling good out there because I'm definitely feeling my best. Never said you couldn't swing back Faith of a seed, you believe that You 
water the garden where you play You don't reap the harvest the same day With a gazelle race, strider but still pacing Hurt me but can't cage me Affirmations on the noon walks to the bus stations Nipsey loud in my headphones Tuning out cars on the road honking Cause if anything, catch a nigga I It'll be cause nigga I want it Reset, hit the bet on me Reset, hit the stress on me It's one thing to be a broke father Another thing to not chase your dreams Fucking nigga gon' break loose Trust me nigga gon' break free Fucking nigga gon' break loose Trust me nigga gon' break free Spread your wings Spread your wings Spread your wings I've been doing hood out with me So you do the numbers Niggas talking about the boy changing Fade arranging This one becoming Educated in a small world But soul travel when I took a slumber When they hunted God on the numbers Back up on it God called my number Tapped in, I've been seeing numbers Tapped in, I've been seeing numbers For it all a nigga keep yelling Loud on nigga, don't fumble Loud on nigga, don't fumble Don't fumble Nigga, don't fumble On this earth, light a fire for my sins. Holy water running dry, but I still got time to rinse. I've been doing hood out of me. I've been, I've been, I hate living in the matrix. Random shit, but I just feel like I should say it. I hate, I hate, I hate. I've been doing hood alchemy, poet in the pen. Pick it up and air it out of forces with the wind. Grounded on this earth, light a fire for my sins. Holy water running dry, but I still got time to rinse. Yeah. Spread your wings, I've been doing hood out with me. Spread your wings, yeah. I've been doing hood out with me. Pour it in the pen. Pick it up and add out of forces with the wind. Ground it on this earth, light a fire for my sins. Holy water running dry, but I still got time to rinse. I've been doing hood alchemy. I've been doing hood alchemy. Once again, that song was called Hood Alchemy. Kicking shit with the 80s vibe, man. That shit felt great.